Hello friends, welcome to the CKA challenge question 39. My name is Alok Kumar and today we are going to see a new challenge question for the CKA exam. So according to the question, one deployment, name of the deployment is web1 with two replica is already running on two nodes. So there might be many nodes and uh, one rep pod is currently running on a uh, single nodes and other you know, on the different nodes. So you need to deploy a new deployment using the file name web2.yaml. So one deployment is already there which is currently on running on the two nodes, two pod running on the two nodes, one pod, one node and other deployments that we need to create using the web2.yaml file and that file is already placed in the root folder. So your task is to ensure that web2 deployment is running. So when we deployed the web2 deployment, okay, so in the file we need to see that what configurations this particular YAML file have, how many replica it's going to create. But as per the question, it asking us to use the web2.yaml file and after the deployment web 2 dot deployment is running means whatever the replica it have one two four six whatever it is all should be in the running mode so none of the pod is currently in the pending state after deploying that file so you are not allowed to delete any existing existing pods so there are already two pods running in a two nodes so you are not allowed to delete them Okay, so this uh, this line uh, creates a uh, questions that why they are asking me to not delete the existing pod or we are going to face any memory issue or some scheduler issue. Okay, because cube scheduler is the responsible for deploying of the pod. So it's asking me to deploy the web to deployment, whatever the replica, whatever the resource utilizations is cur it's currently have. So we have to check that YAML file as well. Uh, so it's asking me also to not modify any existing configuration in the provided file. So whatever the file have the existing configurations, whatever the resource it's going to utilize, we don't need to uh, modify any, any configuration, but we can add, we can see how can we ma manipulate the things at my end to make the web to deployment file in the running mode. Okay, it's not uh, talking about any things about the web one deployment that it will be in the running mode or in the pen goes into the pending state. It's not asking me about any things. It's just asking me not to delete that existing pod. Okay, so we need to check a web 2yaml file. Okay, very carefully and we need to deploy that web2.yaml file and then see the complexity of that. Why I am say saying this not a, a simple question because it have the weightage of 7%. If we have to deploy a simple deployment file using the web2 then it should be ha should have the weightage of 4%. But looking into the weightage, it looks something complex is going to happen. So we we will look into this how we can going to um, overcome this issue and what challenges we are facing. So look, going to the lab session for the de demonstration of this question, how we can going to solve it in an easy way. Okay, and if you have any other um, suggestions that uh, any work around for this, then you can put in the comment section as well after looking into the solutions. Okay, uh, before jumping to the lab session, let me show you uh, my playlist that I created for the Kubernetes. So you can see the seven video for the troubleshooting is already there. And in the zero to hero series, you can find around uh, 10 hours of the Kubernetes video that is for the CK exam. So that is a very lengthy video where we are going, I'm uh, discussing about all the topics uh, of the CK. And this is the full CK question set with lab. It have the 38 questions with all the complexity, but this is the paid one. Okay, so I currently have many of the paid memberships. It have the very minimum charges that you can use to utilize for the looking into the questions, how difficult the CK exams is and how we can troubleshoot the questions accordingly. Also, we have several questions that is free for the Kubernetes. 
okay so uh, i also put uh, 17 uh, questions with the, all the solutions that is the free video for the ck exam also you can find here the videos for the ck exam questions where we have the 17 questions that uh, i already make it uh, free for all the guys so now jumping to the lab session for the demonstration so this is my EKS cluster where I am using the EKS client to connect with the cluster. So let me connect it with. Uh, so you can see that the connection is established. So I am zooming it little bit to have a more clarity. Okay. So it's uh, talking about uh, there is currently uh, a deep one deployments kubectl get deployment so according to the question we have uh, a one deployment with two replica qctl get pod okay the two pod is running that is also correct okay and we can uh, look into the deployments it's two by two okay and both are available so both are running you can understand it qctl get pod output of wide you can see here that uh, both uh, are currently running uh, in uh, two nodes we have two node cluster and uh, both the uh, pod is currently running on a separate separate so this is also fine so we have currently uh, one deployment and two with two pod and both are running in a different different nodes this is uh, fine okay so let me ls pwd we are currently in the root folder okay and we have two files web.yaml that is from which the current deployment is running and web2.yaml so let uh, look into the web2.yaml okay so this is the deployment file with the name uh, web2 it's also have two replica okay and uh, it's using the nginx uh, image with a latest tag and the resources it utilizing this one okay so let's first deploy this uh, deployment and see the complexity okay kubectl get pod oh, sorry apply using the file web2 so it's deployed kubectl get deployment or you can see simply the pod so you can see the web1 is running fine but web2 goes into the pending state so why is it so let me describe it qctl describe pod and the name of pod okay so here we have the description this it's failed to schedule okay default scheduler is handling it and g2 nodes are there but zero nodes are available okay uh, so none of the cube scheduler is uh, not able to deploy the pod into any of the nodes so cube scheduler is working this means that the, there is no problem with the cube scheduler because it's working the default scheduler is currently working two is insufficient cpu okay two insufficient memory so it have problem with the memory and the cpu that we are utilizing so node 1 and node 2 don't have the capacity to take any any of the node of this particular resource type okay so cat web 2 so we have the we are using the memory of 0.9 gigabyte and the cpu is of 400 so it don't have any capacity but uh, according to the questions we have to make uh, the web2 deployment uh, runnable okay uh, we are not going to do any of the modifications so there is a memory issue with the pods and 
to deploy a web dot uh, web web tool deployments running we have to use uh, the priority class if you didn't refer my video on the priority class there we are uh, i discussed uh, about more details what is the priority class and what we are going to utilize it so we have to associate this deployment with the, uh, the with the priority class so let me see uh, how many priority class it's currently have this cluster uh, have the priority class so kubectl get pc sort code of the priority class so currently it have uh, two and that is the system one so we are not going to play with the system uh, priority class we have to create our own so i am going to the kubernetes documentations and here i am writing priority class that how can we going to utilize it so here we have the priority class and uh, i have to check uh, how to use it okay so this is the priority class that uh, i am going to utilize I'm going to copy all the code and going to and put it in in a file okay and then from here I'm copying it and I am going to create a one file pc dot yaml and going to paste it here okay so this will create a priority class with name high priority okay and all the things say the description part you can modify accordingly like uh, going into the insert mode and here i can use this priority class would be used for high priority workloads okay and let me save it ls and uh, now going to deploy it so it created the priority class kubectl get pc so you can see the priority class is uh, now created and now our main task is to utilize this priority class with the deployment so i am going to uh, update my file vi web2 because after that when the priority class is associated with the deployments uh, it that particular deployment have the priority and the, the existing part will goes into the pending state because we don't have the space in the both the node so uh, but we have to make it running the, the web 2 pod as per the questions so let me refer the documentation again how how can we utilize it so here you can see the priority class in the, in the same level container class uh, pr the priority class we have to use the priority class name as a high priority okay so i am cutting this part and i am going to use it accordingly okay so high priority is my uh, priority class name so i am going here till end and here i am going to insert okay uh, so now i am going to save it currently we have uh, two deployment uh, running okay so cube get deployment and you can see the web2 deployment is not uh, running it's in the pending mode so i need to delete it kubectl delete deployment which one web2 i am not going to do anything for the web1 okay it's deleted uh, let me verify it 
so we have one deployment okay and web 2 deployment we already uh, do the modifications web 2 what we did we added the priority class name as high priority okay why we uh, added it because we have a high priority uh, class already there cube ctl get pc so you can see the high priority uh, priority class is already there that we are utilizing in the deployment file okay now it's time to deploy ctl apply minus f pc no, sorry web2 okay it's deployed qctl get deployment so you can see that uh, now the web2 have the two ports currently running and web1 don't have any port running so it's um, because it goes into the pending state we don't have enough memory and we prioritize the web2 deployment uh, to deploy and make it um, both the port running okay so kubectl pod so here you can see that both the web2 pod is currently running and web1 goes into the pending state so th this is what the question asking us to do we didn't change any any configurations we also not deleted the web1 uh, any of the pod and we make uh, web2 pod running so using the priority class if you have any uh, other workaround any solution other solutions for this problem please uh, let me know in the comment section i will try to make a video on that as well and it will be beneficial for other person who don't know about uh, those uh, different work around okay so that's for this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends as well uh, this always motivate me uh, and put your something you have in mind in the comment section i will try to answer it thank you thank you for watching this video have a nice day